My name is Matthew Graybill, and I'm coming to you from the Upper West Side of Manhattan. And today I'll be playing one of Chopin's latest and most effervescent works, his Nocturne in B Major, Opus 62, Number 1. We musicians often like to talk about certain keys and how we have a certain emotional association with some keys. And for me, the key of B major is one that I associate with a feeling of comfort and of warmth. I believe that this work beautifully illustrates those qualities. And of course, it wouldn't be Chopin if it didn't have an incredible harmonic richness and feeling of nostalgia as well. During these solitary months, I've been lucky to have had some time to spend with this piece, and I look forward to sharing what I've done with it so far with all of you today.
and I'm going to play the first movement of the Ligeti de la Sonata named Oralunga. With the use of specific musical processes as microtones, Ligeti makes allusion to Romanian folk melodies which are close to the Hungarian and Gypsy musical traditions. This movement is utterly play on the lowest string of the viola, even in the high register. It creates a really painful and nostalgic atmosphere. I really love this piece and I hope you enjoy it.
Hi everyone, my name is Alana Sachs, and I am currently a first year master's student at the Yale School of Music. I'm also a PMP Little 17 alumni and a workshop 19, 2019 alumni. The performance that you're about to hear is myself and my pianist Anthony Ratnoff performing Prokofiev's first violin sonata, the second movement. Hope you're all staying safe and healthy, and thank you so much for watching.
Hi, I'm Kalia Kalcheva. I'm 24 and I come from Bulgaria. I'm a second year master's student at the Juilliard School and I'm so grateful to be on your screens tonight. I will be performing Chopin's last ballad in F minor number four. It is my favorite of the four ballads. It's intense and sublimely powerful. Some say it contains the experience of a lifetime. To me, it seems to be battling between daydreaming escapism and the haunting reality. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you enjoy.
Hi everyone, I'm Jeremiah and I will be playing the first movement of Beethoven's Violin Concerto for you with Jun Cho on piano. Um, I have a little fun fact to share, which is that in the very first performance of this concerto, um, the violinist Franz Clement uh, was sight reading for part of the performance. Um, apparently Beethoven did not finish the solo part in time, uh, and so Clement wasn't able to <laughs> prepare for the concert. Uh, so that was the world premiere of Beethoven Concerto. Um, anyways, this is a pretty long movement, so uh, sit tight, and uh, I hope you enjoy.
Thank you.